Hello and welcome to my channel where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Bath & Body Works Faceted Holiday Collection as well as the new scent Dream Bright. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started. This is my second video on Bath & Body Works holiday collections. I already reviewed the Snow Beautiful collection and I'll link that video in the description box if you wanna check that out. In this video, I'll be reviewing the 2022 Faceted Holiday Collection as well as the new fragrance Dream Bright. I don't usually care for the faceted packaging from Bath & Body Works much, but I do think that the bottles in this line are actually kind of nice. I like that they're translucent with bright colors and they have metallic labels with glittery accents. The first scent that I have to review is the new fragrance Dream Bright. And I think that the packaging is nice with the deep blue color and the diamonds, but I think that it could have been a bit more sparkly. And then for the faceted collection, first is Magic in the Air, which is a returning scent. And this time it comes in a turquoise bottle. And next there's Starlit Night, which is also a re-promoted scent, and it has a nice deep purpley blue packaging. And then there's Vanilla Mocha Martini, which is supposedly a new scent. And while I see the tie-in with the color, I don't really care much for the brown bottle. And then there's the ever-present scent Champagne Toast, which has kind of a warm pink packaging that looks almost rose gold. And lastly, there's Forever Red, which is not a new scent and of course comes in a bright red bottle. And now let's get on to the reviews. And starting with Dream Bright, as I mentioned, this is a new fragrance and it's a standalone scent, so it's not part of any specific collection. And this has notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. And this opens both fruity and floral. The berries feel dark and the floral is prominent without overwhelming the other notes. And I feel like the scent has kind of an icy feeling to it. And as it dries, it becomes more of a dark berry vanilla scent that's sweet, but not overly sweet or cloying. And the scent does have kind of a perfumey quality to it, kind of like into the night. So it comes across as pretty strong. But personally, I prefer Dark Kiss, which is a retired scent, but is still available online right now. And I feel like that scent is somewhat similar to Dream Bright, but Dark Kiss has more berry, it's sweeter, and it seems stronger. So while I do prefer that, I do like Dream Bright as well, but I don't feel like it's anything remarkable. And I do think that this would be a nice evening scent for winter. And next up, moving on to the Faceted Collection, is Magic in the Air, which although it's a returning scent, it's new to me. And this has notes of almond flower, sparkling persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. And this isn't really what I expected based on the notes. It is very floral, but it's kind of soft, and it has an airy and almost watery quality to it. I don't really get the persimmon either, and I do like that fruit, so I expected a little bit more fruitiness to it. And there is some sweetness, but it's more clean and fresh versus sweet. And I feel like the underlying almondy note is there, but it's very soft, and the vanilla doesn't seem very prominent to me at all. So overall, the scent just comes across as, you know, kind of floral, a, a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, but it just doesn't really stand out and it doesn't seem very strong either. And I think it's just a little bit too airy and watery. So I think that this is okay, but it's definitely not going to be one of my favorites. And then I have Starlit Night, and this is a re-promote, but I actually haven't tried it before. And this one has notes of Snowberry, Midnight Iris, and Sensual Agarwood. And this opens with sweet berries that feel dusted in powdered sugar. The iris is soft and pretty and powdery, and I do get a nice woodiness in the base. And I feel like the notes here are all very distinct, so you can pick up on all of them. And overall, the scent feels sort of bright with almost a hint of airiness to it while still feeling really suitable for evening. 
And while this leans more towards like a perfumey type of scent, I actually don't find it to be really strong. It seems kind of average to me. I do really like the scent, but I, I wish that it was stronger. And next up is Vanilla Mocha Martini, which is supposed to be a new scent, but it is a rumored dupe for a previous release, which we'll talk about shortly. And this has notes of cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. And this opens with a really strong coffee note. And I don't usually care for heavily coffee scents, but this one isn't bad at all. And with the mocha mixed in, I don't find it to be bitter. And there is a hint of something bubbly and sort of boozy, but it's not a super strong note and it does fade pretty quickly. And the floral note comes in and makes it a little bit softer and a little powdery. And as it dries with that tonka bean, it turns super creamy and sweet. So while I don't usually, you know, reach a lot for coffee-like scents, I do actually really love the dry down of this. It's just so sweet and creamy. And as far as the scent it's being compared to, I do have vanilla mocha cream and I tested them against each other and they actually have the exact same notes and I think that they smell exactly the same. I can't pick out any discernible difference in the two. So I really do that think that this is a dupe for that and they just decided to rename it for some reason. And then there's Champagne Toast, which is a core Bath & Body Works scent, but I went ahead and picked it up in the holiday packaging, which I think is nice. And I do actually prefer this clear bottle versus the last one, which was frosted. And this has notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. And this one opens very bright and fruity. I get a lot of berry as well as that citrusy tangerine. And I think that the fruit has a very candy-like feel to it, and it comes across very sweet. And this is just a classic Bath & Body Works scent, and I really do enjoy this one. I don't think it's one of my, you know, absolute favorites, but I do think that it's an easy reach, and it makes for a really nice daytime scent, especially if you like, you know, fruity scents, and especially ones that have a candy feel to them. And the last scent that I have here is Forever Red. And this is a retired scent that Bath & Body Works brings back occasionally. And the bottle that I have here is the previous version because my store didn't have the new one that was released with this collection, but they look almost the same, just um, slightly different label. And this has notes of fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood. And this opens up really fruity and it's sweet and kind of candy-like. And I really like pomegranate and I feel like it comes across really sweet here. And the peony is noticeable, but it's not dominating the other notes. And I don't find that the vanilla rum is very boozy. It feels actually more bubbly to me. And I do sense some woodiness in the base, but I feel like the fruit really stands out the most. And when this has dried down, it's just a really sweet, fruity, candy-like scent, but it does have a bit of a perfumey feel to it, so there is a little bit of complexity. And I really don't know why this isn't part of the permanent collection. Um, I'm not sure if the newer version is exactly the same as the bottle that I have, but I'm expecting that they're pretty similar, and I find this one to be fairly strong. And overall, I think that there are some nice scents in this collection, but since there are so many repromotes, it just didn't really feel very exciting or new to me. And some of these scents are classics and they are really nice, but nothing really blew me away since I'm already familiar with them. But if I had to rank them, my least favorite would be Magic in the Air. It's a bit too soft and airy and just not sweet enough for me. And next would be Dream Bright. I think it's a nice, sweet berry scent, but it just didn't really stand out as anything remarkable. And I have to say for the rest of these, there isn't really a big difference in how much I like them. Um, in the middle would probably be Vanilla Mocha Martini and Starlit Night. I don't really love the opening of Vanilla Mocha Martini, but the dry down is really creamy and delicious. And I do really like the powdery berry iris of Starlit Night. I just felt like it was pretty soft and that's why I didn't rank it higher. And coming in second is Forever Red. I think it's a lovely, sweet, fruity fragrance, 
but it can feel a bit heavy at, and a little bit too perfumey at times. And that leaves Champagne Toast as my favorite in this batch. It's got a similar candied fruitiness to Forever Red, but it feels brighter and more bubbly and just lighter. And this ranking, you know, it pr would probably change day to day though, as sometimes I'd be in the mood for something different. And I do really like these kind of top four scents about the same. So while I think these are mostly good scents, there really isn't anything in this collection that is a, you know, absolutely amazing love must back up immediately for me. So, so far, my favorite holiday scent from Bath and Body Works is still the one that I mentioned in the Snow Beautiful collection video. So that's it for my review of the Faceted Holiday Collection from Bath & Body Works. Let me know what you think of these scents and what you're planning to pick up. I hope to have the third collection video up later this week, so be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.